in this video we want to add these three sub views to this main home screen and to do that we're gonna create a new interface builder file so we'll go here and click click on new file and I choose the user interface and I choose view uh, let's save that in here and then we'll call that home sub view alright so we have home sub view the zip on there so what we want to do is have a custom view so let's delete this view there and then choose another one so that okay let's resize that make it smaller 3 by 88 I think that's how large we want it and then we add an image view to that so that's gonna be the same size as the view and let's give it the image name home I think it's gonna be home sub or something yeah that one okay let's not use that one let's use a different picture all right, that looks better. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing that we did. We're gonna have to add a title and then also a gradient for the background of the title as well. So let's add the great. Let's add the title first. So we have a label. Let's make that white as well. Actually, let's resize that and then make that white. It's a little bit smaller. Um, let's say that will be technology for example this is just going to be a sample holder for now sorry a placeholder for now we're going to have to change this and configure this so what we're going to we're actually trying to do now is have, make a custom control so let's make that bold too as well all right so we're good to go oh no actually we have to, we have to add the background so let's grab that and drag that across the screen Okay, do some alignment as well. And this is going to be the gradient field in the background. So that's what we have. But we can't see our label, so we're going to have to push that to the back of the label. So let's arrange, send backward. Yep, that looks better, doesn't it? Okay, so we have the home sub view. So what, we have, what we're going to have to do now is load these sub views in our home view controller so let's do that in the view did load method so to do that let's start with including no actually loading the views using the ns bundle api so let's go ns array views Bundle here we're gonna have to give the name of the nib that we just created. So that's home sub view. Don't need an owner and we don't need any options for now. Okay. So we know that this array is gonna have one element, which is the view that we've created. So we can just easily see UI view. So that is going to be the object at the index zero. And then all we need to do is now add that to our sub view. Sorry, add that to our main view container. But the problem is here we don't have any container here. So we're going to have to create that. So let's do this. Let's go back to the main storyboard and then create another container down here. Okay, let's resize that. So that 372. And then this is going to be 320 wide as well. Then 88 high. 
So that's a sub view at the bottom there. You're not going to see it because it's white, but if I select it, you can easily see it. So what we want to do is actually connect that to our home view controller. So you go here and say pro add property. And then we call give that as an outlet and say that's a UI view. And that's our sub view container. Let's do a synthesize up here. So going back to our story, but we want to connect this view to our sub view container. So if I right click on that, I can find the sub view container and then connect that to the sub view down there. Okay, so now we can go to our review the load method and say sub view container that add sub view, and then we have the sub view down there. So if we run that, let's see what we get. Okay, so that's good. So that's what we have here. We have our main news information and then we have the one sub view down there so what we want to do is actually load this three times in our view did load method so that's the first one so what we can easily do is um let's re do some refactoring and put that into another function let's call that load sub view or load sub views For the first sub view, that works fine because our frame was at zero and zero. So we're gonna have to actually pass a frame in here. Just to make sure that we can um, lay out our sub views correctly. So let's call that frame. And then we also need to be able to change the image and the background and also the title of the sub view. So let's add an image so with the title which is going to be a string and an image name which is also going to be a string okay so we have that so what we want to do is also set the frame in here so we say sub view to the frame that we pass in so obviously, so now let's actually add this to our header and then we can call this function. So if I go here and I say self that add, sorry, load sub views and I say let's load that at, the, at zero. zero. 0.0388 with title let's say that's tech well let's give it a different name let's say finance for example and then an image name we know we have the home sub 1.png which is gonna be that one or should we use this one that is more like a finance picture so home sub 3 So what we now need to do is actually add this text, the, te the title, and then configure the image as well. So to do that, we need to tag our views or our sub views just to make sure that we can get at them later. So if you select the label and we give that a tag of one, and we select our image and we give that a tag of two. So what we can now do is go back to our home views controller and say sub view view with tag one this is going to be our label so you can see ui label is that and then we can say label the set text to the title so that's configuring the title so what we also need to do is configure the label. So this is acting up. That's probably because 
this is a UI view, so we need to cast that. We know it's a label for now, so let's leave it like that. Then we need a UI image view. And then that's going to be the, the one with a tag of two. So let's go down there and say UI image view to a cast. And then we need to set the image for this one. So say image set image. Actually, this is very, actually not a good name for an image view. So let's call it image view. So everybody knows it's an image view. And then we'll say UI image, image named. We already have that coming into our function. And then we'll say image name. And I think we're good to go. We need to add one more parenthesis there. So this will set our label. And this will set our image. And what we can do is... And run this and then see what we get for that. So that see that's changed to finance now and we have a different image. So now let's add a couple more views in there. So what we can easily do is just copy that and then add two more. And then let's add that at different locations. That this should be 109 and 217. That's because I've done it before, so that's the X value so it's shifted on the x-axis and then let's give that two and one and let's run that and actually see what we get with that yep great good stuff but somehow we're having just finance three times so we need to make sure that we are setting our labels correctly oh yeah that's true that's because we haven't changed this now so let's say that's technology and then let's say that's news Let's run that again. Great, good stuff. So we have our home view. It looks very similar to the Flipboard app. Um, so the next step is to actually make sure that when we tap on this, it takes us to a news item. It's going to be the same news item, but then um, we can always configure that later. So that's going to be in the next video. Thanks for watching this one.